the Red Bull Emio. So I was at the Red Bull Emio uh, with my daughters. This was the Swiss Championship Clash Royale. I was there just as a regular spectator, not as a commentator. My daughters, and they're totally not interested in Clash Royale. But it's really funny when we were there and they got involved into the whole thing of the Red Bull Emio and this competition atmosphere. They started playing Clash Royale. It was only for that one day actually. <laughs> and then they quit again. They proven to be real fangirls and we have some very funny footage from that event that I want to show you. Senpirect is one of the top players or maybe the top player. He also won the ESL Swiss, the Swisscom Hero League. So that's that guy over there. He won the ESL Swiss and he was also playing in this Red Bull Championship. He was also playing there and it was actually very interesting because he also gave some tips. He gave some tips about Clash Royale. That's him on another picture here. Very successful Clash Royale play. You may not know him yet, but my daughters are so fan. Fangirls, fangirls for him. And I will show you the, the footage of that. There's some funny clips uh, for that, how they really fangirl for him. And very interesting, he also explained his own gameplay here in the show. So he basically had his gameplay with him, explained his strategy, why he's playing it and how he's playing it. And also here with some details like this one. I've not, I'm not sure if you've ever seen that. It actually shows where to position, like for example, an E-Dragon, where to position a battle ram, all those really fertile, detailed knowledge. And I think it's also very impressive to see how you really have to go into the details of the game and really know all the details of the game. There's a lot of work in it to actually become the best player of Switzerland. Even though Switzerland is small, it still requires skill and hard work. So that is Senpai Rekt explaining everything. Very cool there. Very cool. He shared his knowledge. Then we were able to ask questions. There you see my co-caster, Don Rigoni. That's my co-caster in ESL Swiss. And we were able to ask Senpai questions. When we casted the games, there's always things we didn't know. And like we, we speculated about it. For example, when he plays a deck and he chooses the ban, what is the thought process in choosing the ban? Does he want to avoid his opponent from playing a certain thing? Or does he want to make sure his deck will be working? So thoughts like this. And we were able to ask Senpai about that. It's really a cool atmosphere. They're a really cool arena. If you have the chance to go to such an event, do it. It's really, really interesting. You can learn a lot. Let me show you. And then, of course, there was also the matches. <laughs> There's Senpai. There's Senpai playing. You see my daughters there? <laughs> and they played Clash Royale. And they never do. <laughs> but they did there. And then they stopped. Uh, when Senpai played, we made some cool shots here. Like this one. My daughter cheering for Senpai. We also made some very cool pictures here with Senpai. Like this one. So in this first clip I want to show you. It's actually Senpai playing. And then he wins. And then he's asking his mother, who is also in the audience. She was sitting beside me. He's asking her to show the sign he prepared. So here's how Senpai won the game with a beautiful three crown. And then he's showing it. Hey, show the sign. You brought the sign. Show it. And then they show the audience. There's his mother. I'm taking the sign away. <laughs> Cheering for Senpai. That's me. Fanboy Avalon. That's, cheering. That's dedication there, right? They're awesome. playing. Look, we're just gonna go and then the girl's the taking the sign. <laughs> There's my two daughters you, waving the sign, cheering for yeah, Senpai. Yeah. So they became and fangirls the here. I'm taking world pictures world in really the meantime. Bad. What else? I mean, it what else would I do? Perfect. After he won the, the match, there he's winning the match. Yeah, my daughter going totally crazy with the Senpai sign. Very beautiful shot. I'm actually wearing the same shirt that I do now. There he is. They storm on the stage. Oh, we can't see that. Look, they storm on the stage there. Cheering for Senpai. Cheering for Senpai. They're on the stage taking a picture with Senpai. That was so funny. This beautiful Clash Royale chest. It was about this size, guys. Unbelievable. About this size. A beautiful Clash Royale chest. Well, the brains. She interviewed him. Um, I want to know who are those cute little tiny fans of yours that, um, <laughs> family and friends?
parents or who are they? Uh, that's actually Chief Avalon's uh, daughters. <laughs> so my, my brother made this sign for me and they've taken over and now they're my fans, I guess. <laughs> They're adorable, <laughs> and they took a picture with you, too. And it actually was also in the news. Yeah, they were proud, like, Hey, Mom, I'm on TV. <laughs> Senpai, he didn't win the final. He got second uh, in that tournament. So, unfortunately, he didn't qualify for Spain. So, that's the story I wanted to share with you about my two fangirl daughters cheering for Senpai. That was a beautiful moment there in the Red Bull Arena in Lucerne, in Switzerland, close to the lake. Beautiful place. If you're ever in Switzerland, I really recommend going there. It's a beautiful place uh, to see the lake and also the, it's called the Technorama. That place really interesting. Definitely go there. If you have a chance to ever visit Switzerland, I would really recommend that. And that's the story of the fangirls cheering for Senpai. I hope you like this story too. Showing you some pictures. And like when you're going there like anonymous. You don't want to be seen. You're just there as a guest. <laughs> as a viewer. And then they take over. And you're on camera and, and in the live stream all of a sudden. Without <laughs> planning to be there. Things like that happen.